So once you've made some changes to a Fusion title or created one for yourself, you may want to export it. So there's really two ways you can go about doing it. One way is to create a macro, and a macro allows you to customize which settings are going to be editable. And you can take that macro settings file and give it to someone who can install it on their computer so they can just drag and drop the new Fusion title into their timeline in the same way that we did before. So if you install it to the right titles folder, they'll show up here in the list. The second way is to export a node group as a settings file. As far as I've been able to figure out with setting files, you can't uh, actually expose settings over here. So with settings files, they would pretty much load in the node group and everything would be editable, which you may prefer, but I haven't been able to find a way yet where you can manually expose the nodes to appear here as controls where you can edit it in the edit mode inspector. So anyway, if you want to create a macro where you can actually push some of these controls to be editable in the inspector, but then the person using the macro won't be able to edit these nodes directly, you can do that by selecting all of your nodes, right-clicking, going to macro, create macro, and then you'll get this box for the macro editor where you give it a name. So you could call it like custom title one or something like that. And then you simply expand the different nodes that you see down here below. So for instance, you can go to the background effect and then you check any box for export where you want that setting to be editable in the future. So for instance, you could come down here and check everything in color. If you want to make sure that the background color should be editable and all the settings inside of that part of the node. So you just repeat that for all the settings you want to allow someone in the future to be able to edit. And uh, once you've done that, you hit close. You hit yes to save changes to macro tool. And then you can save that on your computer. So it will give you this default folder in your app data. But if you want to export this as a title that will show up in the effects library, then you're actually going to want to save the settings file into the DaVinci Resolve install folder. Go into Fusion, Templates, Edit, and then titles. And you'll see all of the titles that are installed to DaVinci Resolve here. So we can select the path here, copy it, and in the save box, I'm going to paste that in. So we just need to give it the name here for the macro. So custom title one dot setting. So if we were to hit save there, you may run into this issue of not having administrative permission. So you might need to restart DaVinci Resolve ran as an administrator, or you could save this to the desktop and move it later on. Anyway, once you're able to move it into that folder, then your new macro titles should show up in the edit mode effects library. So if we go over here, I already did that in advance. So for instance, I can take this test title, drag it into the timeline. So if I click on it, we can see that in the inspector that the fusion macro settings are actually enabled here. So we can customize the type of color the color, the red, green, blue values, and the alpha. So obviously, if you want to allow people to customize things like the top text or the bottom text, then you'll need to expose those settings and the macro, and that can be a little bit of a pain. So the other option is to export it as a settings file directly rather than a macro. So if we click on the horizontal line reveal title that we were working with, go back to the Fusion tab, and then we select all of the nodes, we can export it as a standard settings file by right clicking, going to settings, save as, and then you would just save that somewhere on the computer. So you could call this title horizontal line reveal modified. And then just like before, if you want to be able to use it as a title, you put that into the fusion templates edit titles folder and save that in here. So likewise, I created the custom setting title in advance as well. So we can drag that onto the timeline. Uh, if we click on it, you can see that the same controls that were exposed in the original title still exist there. And if we take this and go over to the Fusion tab, you'll be able to see that the nodes are exactly how they were in the original setup. Now, when I was exporting this, I made a mistake, which is that the uh, title horizontal line reveal shouldn't be going to media out. It should actually be the merge. So I'd probably want to re-export that setting and override it if it was going to actually use it. But the advantage of doing it this way is that the nodes will be completely editable like it was in your original project. Now, there's also a secondary way to use a settings file, which is to drag it straight into any node editor. So you could create a blank Fusion composition if you wanted by going over to, I believe it's effects, and then Fusion Composition. Drop that onto the timeline. 
So a fusion composition is a blank canvas for you to be able to work from. So if we go over to the fusion tab with fusion composition selected, you'll see that only the media out exists here. So I can actually drag any settings file in here to add the nodes from the settings file straight into this fusion composition. You could also drag in a settings file to a already default 3D title template. So anything that is a setup inside of the fusion tab, you can add any settings file to. That would also work with macros, except that you can't go into the macro and edit it except for any setting that has already been exposed. So I could uh, get rid of this extra media out and drag this merge to the media out there. And that would just be another way of using a settings file.